<laughs> oh boy! <laughs> oh, he's pulling me. Come on. Oh boy. Get in here. Oh. Woo. Oh, isn't it though? Look at that. Welcome back, everybody. This is Joe from TRS Fishing, taking on another fishing adventure today. And we are going to explore some Pennsylvania trout streams, uh, specifically Penn's Creek. Or, no, we're not going to do Penn's Creek. We're doing Spring Creek today. I figure we're going to do something a little bit different with this one. Instead of me doing some music track over some beautiful scenery, I'm going to give you uh, some fun facts over some beautiful scenery with my drive up there. Okay, everybody, we're going to do some fun facts about trouts here. Brown trout, including sea trout, belong to a single polytypic species. They are, however, so variable and adaptable that attempts have been made to assign them to at least 50 separate species. Brown trout are one of the most genetically diverse vertebrates known. There are far more genetic variation present across British populations of wild brown trout than between any populations in the entire human race. Brown trout also have between 38 and 42 pairs of chromosomes. Humans only have 23 pairs. A typical female brown trout produces about 2,000 eggs per kilogram or 900 eggs per pound of body weight at spawning. So what does that mean? My area? Uh, one pound fish would be pretty good fish around here, so that's quite a bit of eggs, 900 eggs. Brown trout can also live up to 20 years old, almost old enough to drink. And now we're going to try to pronounce a word that is really large. Freshwater forms of brown trout that migrate from lakes into rivers or streams to spawn are known as potamondromus question mark but that word all right and here's another one for you trout select mates to prevent inbreeding and give offspring desirable traits like disease resistance they do this via olfactory and visual cues we're going to go to our final fact here this is a really cool fact about brown trout this is going to come to the methods of fishing that i do with be fly fishing drift fishing however and i find this to be true both in actual study and in practice. Trout eat more than 90% of their food subsurface. What that means is you're talking nymphs, basically anything subsurface, anything that washes in the water, worms, crustaceans, such things. A 10% of their diet are going to be mergers or, or things that are sitting on top of the water. Trout are very opportunistic in that sense. I think that's pretty interesting and it also explains that why you need to have a very diverse layout when you're going to fish. Don't be dead set on just one thing. It's gonna That 90% is going to vary. I mean, what is that fish going to do today? So just keep that in mind when you're heading out there. So with that being said, I'm going to shut up. We're going to hit the creek. All right, guys. So uh, I may have lied. We are actually on Bald Eagle Creek, not Spring Creek. Spring Creek is actually that section right there. And I don't think that lady was too keen on me fishing right here. And uh, I think I have enough egg sacks to last for a good long while. So we'll hop right into it. See what we can't get into. Probably gonna need more weight. That would be my guess. Just a guess though. All right, guys, here we go. Toss it right into that current. See what we can't get into. This is almost pin water, you know. There's it. Ah. Oh. Got a fish. Nice. Ah. All right. Little bitsy rainbow. Oh, it was quick release. Never mind with the underwater then. First fish, skunk is off the board. Get right back out there. Gotta love the sound of that Shimano screaming. Okay. What happened there? Our leader broke. Ooh, that's groovy. Guys, here's the perfect little opportunity to tell you about how we're rigging up today for these trout. 
Got our main line, I just have a float pinned on there right now. I'm using four pound fluoro now. Was using two pound and just snapped off on a fish. I'm gonna run that down there and we're gonna run to a real small hook. Maybe. Got a size 16 Diachi 1150. Just a hook you can find at pretty much any fly tying shop around the United States. Do an improvised clinch or however kind of knot you want to do. Pivotal part of this now. The big PP. All right. Weights. Going to be using a lot of them. A lot of current, and it's pretty darn deep. We'll take. We'll get this guy about six inches from our hook. Move this one about four inches up from that. Give or take an inch. Move this guy up. A little bit further, maybe five inches. And we're gonna do another five inch. This is not an exact science, but it can be. And we'll go one more up like that. That gives us a pretty good spread. Those two going back in. Of our bigger split shots here. And we're gonna pin them good eight inches above that last split shot that we put on. And then from that bigger one, we just put on another four or five, just like that. Now it's bait up. Got a jar of magic here, pop one on. Okay, we may have to adjust the depth of our drift, who knows? We'll see what we can't get into here with this cast. There's a bunch of them jump. That was a fish, definitely. That was definitely, wait, what? You guys saw that, right? All right, guys, so, you little fish. Never really fished bald eagle, so we're gonna go for a personal best whatever we catch on bald eagle for our goal. There's fish on it. There we go. That little rainbow. Look at that. That's a pretty one. He got me all sorts of tangled up, too. Get him unhooked and out of here so we can fix our line. Catch you later, buddy. We got that fixed the best we can. Let's get into a big brown. That could be fun. There's a hit. Ah. There must be a million little fish in here. Not an exaggeration. There's fish. Another little rainbow. Ah, oh, it's crazy. Oh, look how dark this one is. Wow, that's cool. Look at the colors on him. Wow. This one's getting an underwater. He is so pretty. Look at that. Wow. There you go. Oh, that's so cool. All right. Go off this way, little guy. There you go. Catch you later. There we go. Yeah, there we go. It's a nice brown. Come on, get you undone here. See you, guy. There's fish. What do we got? Oh, it's big. What is it? Nice, got a brownie. Okay. Oh, pretty fish. Very pretty fish. Oh, wow. oh yeah. That's what we like. Got him unhooked.
All right. Catch you later, guy. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. It is every cast, man. Got a fish, and he's off. It's his little bitty feety rainbows. There's a fish right there. You guys saw that, right? That I did not have a fish, and then, okay. Just checking. A little feeder rainbow. Oh, over the, well, I don't know, that one's actually not half bad. Not half bad. There's gotta be that trophy brown in here somewhere, right? Gotta be. Catch enough rainbows today, that's for sure. All right guys, since they're hitting on flies, we're gonna try some fly fishing. Need a split shot to get that down in the water. I think we'll do a single big one like that. Hey, we got one. Ha! Look at that. Nice. Ha! This is what fly fishing's fun. Oh my god. What have I been missing? Catch you later, buddy. Alright. One on the board on the fly. Nice. That one's for you, Dane. Oops. Hey, we got one. Yeah, we do. Nice. Catch you later, buddy. We're gonna try something really crazy. A few more casts here, then we're gonna start running beads. There we go. Nice. Ah, that hurt. Ah, that hurt. He hooked me. Oh, look at that. Something got him. Fudge. Only fair, right? Catch you later, guy. He break me off. Oh no. He did. Oh shit. That's a better fish. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's another nice brown. Beautiful. All right, let's get you in here, buddy. Get you in for a picture. And he's going. All right, guys. Always good talking to nice people on the creek. But we got business to do now. We gotta get us a big old brown. Woo! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I got her. I hope. Yep. Oh, he's pulling me. Come on. Oh. 
Oh boy. <laughs> Come on. I don't know if he's as big as I think he is. He might just be real strong, but it's a good fish. Come on. Oh, it's a good fish. Come on. That's a beautiful fish. Yeah, it is. Get in here. Start now. Oh. Yeah. Woo. That's a pretty oh. Beautiful. Isn't it though? Look at that. Yeah. They don't get much better color than that. Oh, wow. Look at him. Thank you. Get you off here. I wonder how many more. That's a wild too. It is. It's crazy how big and beautiful these things get. Come on. It's got to be pushing 20, I would think. Uh, I can't really tell. 18? Yeah, I'd say closer to 18. I don't think I have my tape in here. No, no. I ain't worried about it too much. His head could be up to 25 inch. How big his head is. Oh my God, right? Oh, yeah, I see his whole body. Yeah, it's 18. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Oh my god, do you see that guy? <sighs> wow. What a beautiful fish. What an absolute chungus. I'll tell you that water's pretty cold too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Come on. Come on. Alright, whenever you're ready. Awesome, thank you, sir. Beautiful. It's a heck of a brown there. Oh my god, isn't it though? Colors are just oh. they don't get much prettier than that, if at all. I know. The one I caught wasn't that colored up. Wow. <laughs> Way to do it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sweet, thank you so much again. <laughs> That's your turn to catch a big one. Wow guys, what can I say? We just killed it today. Just killed it. We uh, fished the confluence of Bald Eagle Creek and Spring Creek and well, I got a new personal best. So there's that. And um, yeah, had a great time. Thank you all for sticking with me. Please leave a like, comment, and think about subscribing. It means a lot to me. I thank you all for every comment, every like, and every subscription that you, every time you, you get what I'm saying, right? All right guys. That's it for today. Gonna head home. Actually, I'm gonna stop, get something to eat, then head home. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one.